Corruption. California Congressman Eric Swalwell is best known for his girlfriend, Christina Fang, also known as Fang Fang, who had to flee the country after being identified by the FBI as a Chinese spy. But this year, the 40-year-old congressman is being investigated as it is being alleged he is spending tens of thousands of dollars of campaign contributions on liquor, limos, high-end steakhouses, and five-star hotels, something prohibited by federal law. Naturally, someone who so enthusiastically embraces the special opportunities of power is hardly likely to want to give it up. And indeed, Representative Swalwell has refused to sign the U.S. Tournament's Congressional Pledge, which would commit him to co-sponsor and vote for the Congressional Tournament's Amendment. Like his relationship with Fang Fang and his lavish lifestyle, tournaments is not something the congressman likes to discuss. In 2019, CNN's Poppy Harlow made Representative Swalwell squirm with this simple question. Term limits. Interesting uh, proposal by Republican yeah. Senator Ted Cruz and also Republican Francis Rooney. It proposes a constitutional amendment and it would in instill term limits for both the Senate, two terms, and three two-year yeah. terms for the House. Do you support that? I think the best term limit is to have public financing of campaigns and independent redistricting. I beat so a 40-year no. Democrat. That's a that's no, a no in constitutional a amendment. But Congress comes with lots of perks, some legal. For instance, Swalwell and his wife, yes, he's married, traveled to Qatar in the Middle East on a junket paid for by the U.S. Qatar Business Council. This trip got him in hot water too, as while he was being photographed smiling and riding shirtless on a camel, his constituents were in lockdown in California due to a pandemic. The Qatar trip was legal, but misuse of campaign contributions is not. You recall from a previous corruption segment on this podcast that Duncan Hunter, a Republican, and his wife were busted doing the same thing, albeit on a larger scale. Hunter spent 11 months in prison. Specifically, Representative Swalwell is accused of spending over $20,000 of campaign money at the ritzy Half Moon Bay Resort on the Northern California coast, including on limos and liquor. He also spent over $7,000 at high-end steakhouses in DC and New York City. FEC reports suggest he has also spent $566 on alcohol delivery from Drizzly's and $1,151 at Capitol Hill Wine and Spirits near Congress. Now, some of that money may have been solicited by Fang Fang, who was a financial contribution bundler for the Swalwell campaign. According to the FBI, Fang Fang had struck up relationships with municipal politicians, including two Midwest mayors, who they didn't name, before moving on to Swalwell, who was then a Dublin, California council member. She was a member of the Chinese Student Association at California State University, East Bay, where she enrolled after arriving in the States in 2021. Assisting Swalwell in being elected to Congress in 2013, Fang continued to work with Swalwell until she was alerted of the FBI investigation and returned to China in 2015. Swalwell broke off all ties with her right away. The relationship almost cost Representative Swalwell his seat on the House Intelligence Committee, but didn't. Regardless whether or not Swalwell crossed the line into illegality with his wild recreational spending, we'll find out soon enough, but the archetype of the power-seeking, women-chasing, free-spending partier is no stranger in the U.S. Congress or any other legislative body. This is why term limits are so necessary and why politicians loathe 